so we are here with param maksudlu who played a i guess a very very tense game against 12 year old javo kir sindaro first of all before we go to the game what's your impression of the boy talented very talented i think he's very good player i uh, i believe on uh, his talent and he's just very much i also told my friend that is in this age okay it's this just genius can play like this so uh, i thought that when the game was about to begin that you would go for something slow and positional because mm. he is a tactical player but you surprised us by playing the main line and e4 yeah because i think uh, uh, he didn't prepared e4 for me of course because i don't play e4 so much just i played yesterday against ali raza and um, i saw i prepared some good idea in this a4 and i was sure that he will uh, come for this uh, opening so i think it was very good idea because i uh, know uh, this story uh, i think so much you have prepared it very yes, well yes yes and uh, You were expecting B4 or yes, yes. B4 A5. This was Rook B8. Uh, you wrote a young uh, Joao Kier was prepared, but I, I prepared it. I think. Yes, no, but B4 he he played also quickly, so he was prepared for this line. That. Uh, but not against me. Maybe. Okay, yes. Maybe later. No, not against you. But in general, he didn't go into thinking right now. He mm. played all these moves quickly. Yes. Uh, and when he took knight on knight into E4, you I saw that you were surprised a little bit. No, it was just show. Ah, it was uh, a yeah, show. Yes, it's because I uh, prepared this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so B D five uh, and so this is a good line for yes, black. Yes, yes. Okay, but uh, he must know very much. It's something like twenty moves, he must know and play like engine to make it equal. Because uh, here after uh, C B four, C six is best move. Bishop A two, Rook B four, D four is best move, and here. He must take. Yes. Take. King G1, D5, Bishop. Uh, no, no, no. Bishop, not Bishop D2. Knight A3 was my preparation. Knight A3. Yes. Mm-hmm. C5. Queen C2. Knight B7. Bishop D2. And here, very nice move. Bishop F6. And if I take. Take, position? take. Knight is trapped. And, yeah, oh, knight B1. To... D3, no, I'm rook up, but this is equal. Queen F2, Queen A5, Knight B D2. You prepare everything. Yes, yes. Bishop B2, Knight B3, Queen A3, Rook B1, Bishop C3, Rook D1. This one? No, no, no. Rook E D1. Rook D1. Bishop G4. D uh, knight c1, d2, rook d2, uh, bishop f5, rook d1, bishop d1, d1. Okay. bishop b1, bishop b1, and it's all equal. Who? <laughs> We believe that you work for 10 to 20 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was this was tremendously deep preparation. Yes. Uh, fantastic. Uh, but this BD2 but also move? in this position play uh, uh, play well for both sides in last position okay it's equal in engine but uh, so play well for both sides when you end this analysis do you still play some like put computer games or something or no i just it? i just uh, thought that i can play this position so it's, it's play well, yes, like the game yes but i think bishop g4 okay was not by preparation for sure but it was interesting Yes, this but this move BD two was played in the game between Dubo and Kovalev in Aeroflot. Mm. You had seen it or not? No. no. Okay. So, Bishop, I think it's equal. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. equal. The game ended in a draw, but Bishop G four was a new move. Yeah, I think it was novelty. Yeah. Yes. Yes, because I think everybody take on D four. D take E five, Queen uh, B six, Bishop B three, Rook B two, and here I think King G three was. Very nice move. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It is okay. Uh, I don't know engine idea, but on the board, I think it was very nice plan to put the king on g3. Right. It didn't look simple. Uh, yes. You yes. could have played king 
G1 yeah. Mac, but, but I think this will be somehow equal after queen b4, bishop d4 maybe, uh, Sorry. queen f, uh, bishop f3, g f3, and uh, d take e5, bishop b2, queen b2, and my uh, rook don't have any place. After knight d2, rook d8, bishop g5. I think it's equal, but okay, I, maybe engine, don't think. Yeah, okay. Rook e2, bishop g5, and this is, okay, Not maybe not equal, maybe better for black. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so you went for so, queen uh, g3. Yes, queen g3, is... and the point is after queen b4, no, I can play bishop d2. And uh, queen don't have any place, he must take on f3, and I will take on b4. And after bishop d1, here I saw a very Take nice it? move to play bishop a3. Wow. Uh, yeah. And okay, it's. Uh, and after. Uh, and then you want to take on d1. Yes, after rook b7, uh, rook d1, d e5, take on e7, rook take, uh, bishop e7, rook take, bishop f7, rook f7, and. Uh, this rook, yeah? Okay, yeah. maybe. Okay, no, no problem. Rook f5, and. Uh, I, I think this is winning for white because I will take all yeah, the pawns. These are, these are all very weak pawns here. Yes. Uh, also, okay. e five pawn is very weak. Right. So. So uh, okay, I think uh, okay, it uh, it didn't uh, talk about uh, uh, queen before. He played very fast. He took on f three, and did you think about taking on b six here, or you just? Yeah, but I thought that it is uh, equal. Bishop, bishop d1, one, bishop f5, and bishop b3. Yes. Yes, I think. This is around equal, yeah? Okay, maybe it's slightly better for me, but very hard to win this position with two pawns. Yes. Without queens, yeah. You wanted to win. Yeah, I think <laughs> king f3 was very nice move. King f3, queen. And here, did you consider the move c5 here? Yes. Black? And what do you do? Knight c3. And then if I take here, it it looks pretty good because you have the d5 square, but yes. uh, the computer says that it's uh, better for uh, black. black. It's very strange. I think we both missed this. Mm -hmm. Because C5 looks very... C5 uh, is not human. Yes, it looks very dangerous because I have this D5 square and you... I agree, yes. You don't threatening anything after C5. Right. But he took, he played Queen B5 and then uh, Bishop C1, was which was a nice move. move. Yes. I think you made a lot of difficult moves yes, at this yes. point. Bishop A3 and after Rook A4, uh, there was also one move, knight c4 here. I saw this, bishop b4 and then uh, rook e5. You have to take and uh, perhaps it's around equal, equal. yes? <laughs> okay, this is very uh, complicated, not human position. Yes, so rook a4 and yes. g3 was very strong move. Yes, yes. I understood that uh, my uh, king is not safe. And I should play some uh, some move to uh, keep the safety of king. So g3 was a very nice move. Yes, and knight c4. Okay. And here, here I think bishop c4 is absolutely better for me. But, uh, but bishop b3 was also a nice idea. Bishop c4. Actually, uh, there was uh, Amanato in uh, commentary, yeah. and uh, they were analyzing, and they were just looking at bishop c4, uh, and computer was saying bishop b3. Yeah, bishop is best yes. move. And uh, I was thinking to myself, no, he cannot play bishop ah. b3. Bishop c4 looks uh, the most natural. <laughs> but when you played bishop b3, it was yeah, I think, very uh, surprising. I thought that in engine uh, uh, idea, uh, bishop takes c4 is winning maybe. Yes, bishop c4 and after queen c4 you are winning. After queen c4 I am winning, yes. Because d6, uh, bishop d7, yes, yes. But after rook c4 it was not easy. Maybe bishop d6, but okay, it was not easy really. Yes, and okay, this queen position... Queen b2, yeah, I saw queen b2. And 
it was very dangerous. It was dangerous. For yeah, you. because because Bishop B3 was more easier for me. It's his fourth line, and I will put the knight on c 4 and I have very good chances to win. Fantastic. Rook A3, and over here uh, you were starting to feel that you can win this game. Yes, yes. yes. I was very happy here. Ed Bishop D6. Nice. Because okay, uh, he have uh, three pawns, but the pawns are not so dangerous because on c6, a6. Yes. Um, Bishop c7. King g2. King g2. G6. Uh, you will have to help. I think us. Rook d1 was not good. Very bad move. <laughs> I missed something very badly because after Rook d8. Uh, first, okay, after rook d1, I thought that he can't play rook d8 because knight e5 and uh, queen e5, rook d8. Okay, bishop d8. I, I thought that I will take on f7 and play queen f8 check and then take on d8. But here I missed, I totally missed queen g7. Queen d8, queen b2 check. Ah. And king h3, uh, queen b3, queen f8. King h5, queen f4, and g5. I missed this g5. So, and then after this, it's like it's equal. equal. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay, it's, it will be drawn. So, that's why you you think rook d1 was not accurate? Yeah, very bad move. Mm -hmm. I, I think I lost uh, my advantage. Okay, I have advantage here, but not so much. Not anymore. so much. But uh, he, he calculated these complex lines pretty well, yes? He was yes. doing quite okay. Yes, yes. Queen c3, bishop a4. Bishop c6. Yeah. So this, this was the game? Uh, yes, yes. King h1. You need to help me with the moves. King h1. Uh, here he played rook d6. Normal, normal move, but maybe he can play some better move. I don't know. Okay. Uh, bishop b6, I think it was a better idea. Yeah. And uh, my plan was to play bishop b7 and uh, bishop a6 to protect this. Okay, after also f a5, I can play bishop a6 to protect this uh, knight with bishop and then move my rook to e1 or c1. Mm -hmm. I think I was better. Okay. Slightly, but rook d6, bishop b7. I think here he missed uh, rook c1. He played b, uh, queen b3. He played queen b3, mm -hmm. and I played rook c1. And I think okay, not winning, but uh, uh, much better for me. So now this is hanging with yeah, check? Yeah, be, because if you play bishop d8, I will put the knight on c5. And after changing queens, I, I, I will, uh, I will uh, uh, take This is still a6. not easy, yes? Yeah, but uh, this. Uh, you will enjoy will, yourself. This pawn will be gone. Yes. For sure. this, this will fall and then and you then will have will to convert win, this. Yeah. yeah. So rook c1, he, he played a... I played, okay, he played a very huge mistake again. And he played rook take d3, which was very bad. Rook c7, king f6, uh, queen c6, king g5, and he missed queen c1 for sure. Because after king f6 and king g2 is, is okay, <laughs> totally winning. Ah, now you are. Okay, I'm, I will mate him. You will sure. mate yes. him, yes. Uh, rook d1. But this move, king g2, you had seen from a distance yes, that yes. you will make this move. Yes, and king will be safe on h3. We played rook d1 uh, and queen h6, queen b4. And bishop f3, and here. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, wait, sorry. <laughs> here he played rook d2, uh, no, no, no. Queen b2 check, uh, king h3, queen b4, and after bishop f3, he resigned. Okay. So, a great, tough game, actually, for you. It was very you. tough and very important for me to uh, beat, this, uh, beat uh, my opponent because. Uh, I will have so lead with uh, half, a, half half a point, point yes. yes. 
So it was very. And also, I think uh, Ali Reza may win his game. So yeah, Ali Reza be... played very nice game. I think yes. <laughs> very like uh, um, uh, top grandmasters. I think he played slow, very, slow grind. Yes, yes, and he moved the king from G1 to B2. B2. <laughs> it was very nice play. And and uh, uh, I think he's uh, very good in uh, King's Indian position with with both sides. You know, uh, very much. So. If you're facing Ali Reza, I don't try that. King's Indian, Indian. is in uh, green on Ali Reza. He's very good. In okay. this. <laughs> and yesterday when you played Ali Reza, when you took E into D5 in exchange French, I thought you were playing for a draw or you both no, are going no. to decide for a draw. But then no. you became ambitious and yes. the game was very interesting. Yes, it was a very sharp game after uh, B3, Knight A3, Knight B5 and C4. Uh, I was planning to win and I had also good chance uh, in one moment. I missed, okay, I not missed, I saw queen d2 to plan uh, bishop g5 and after, okay, something like h6 or move the knight, then take on b5 and take on c7. And I have one pawn off with good advantage. Uh, but I played g3 I've, uh, and I thought that he don't have too much counterplay, but I, uh, it no, was a very no, bad choice, good. yes, yes, because G3 will uh, make my king weak and he can, okay, he can uh, get out from the, uh, from his bad position. Yeah, you played ED5 because you didn't want much tactical position, yes, you wanted yeah, because, to play simple uh, chess. Yeah, because I just, uh, I think, is sharp player and uh, I'm better, maybe I'm slightly better than him in, uh, uh, in some... Technical positional pitch. and yes, yes. And and when you said today when Amin on third board and, he lost and he can't play, I just can't play some boring positions. So. He doesn't he doesn't like to play. Yes, yes. <laughs> and and when Amin lost today on board three, you said you were very sad. Yeah, I was very uh, upset because yeah, and I <laughs> made some mistake maybe by game because I was not uh, uh, considered to. Uh, consider him to lose this game. It was very strange because his position was absolutely nice. After, after opening, he had this bishop on d5 and yes. very good control on the game, but he lost. Yeah, so you you guys are very, very close friends. Uh, yes, uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, nobody wants uh, to lose. Yeah, and today I was talking to Sokolov uh, and he told me that uh, you are one of the players who is one of the best defenders he has seen. Very, very strong uh, defender. Y yes, uh, uh, I think I uh, can defend very hard position because pretty he, well. Because you were seeing one of your games against Lu Shang Lai. Lu Shang Lai in and, Stars Cup. And you had uh, to make... I defend like a lawyer, I think. <laughs> it was very... Uh, you had to make one move after another, after another, and you yes, found yes, all yes. the best moves. Yes, yes, yes. In time trouble, in very huge time trouble. Yeah, I think defending is very important. So if someone wants to learn the art of defense, how does he learn it? How, uh, what should he do to become a defender like you? I think just... Uh, this is just calculation. It's just because of good calculation. If he uh, can make his calculation very strong, he can defend all the, all the position. When you're, okay, piece up or, okay, nothing up, uh, you can, with uh, calculation too much, something like 10 moves, 15 moves, you can, okay, you can, of course, defend your position very well. So my question is how to improve calculation? Uh, with, uh, uh, I think with uh, seeing uh, top games, and think yourself how to play on that position. And okay, there are some very tough position to defend, and there are some sharp position to find attack and mate your opponent. So uh, see game too much, see top game too much. It will help your calculation very well. Very well, well uh, Param. Thank you so much for this uh, advice. I guess uh, all of the people who are watching this. Look at top games and try to think on your own. And also classical games, uh, Petrosian games, uh, Capablanca game, Alkin, um, Tal, or, okay, um, but Phoenix, many players, and, and uh, their games are very nice and help them very much. I like that you mentioned Petrosian first because he was one of the best defenders. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, good luck, congratulations, and continue the good form. Thank you very much.